Do you want to make your background do this? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to make that happen. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne. Thank you so much for being here. And if this is your first time here, I make videos just like this one to help simplify your gaming experience. Now, I've had several viewers ask me, Wayne, how do you make your background move like that? And the answer is very simple. It's called a dynamic background, which you can find in the settings of your Xbox console. However, before I go and show you how to do this, I need to give you a little bit of bad news. Unfortunately, this is not available on the Xbox Ones at this particular time. I have tried this out on my Xbox One X that I currently have that my son uses, and unfortunately, it isn't an option there. So um, unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry if you're still on the Xbox One, you won't be able to do this. But if you've had the chance to upgrade to the Xbox Series X, then you will be able to find these settings in there. If you do have an Xbox Series X and you're still unable to find these settings, then make sure you go into your Xbox App Store on your console and look for the Insider Hub and request an invite into the Insider Hub. This may be something that you still have to be part of, and I'm not able to verify that as of right now. And I'm not sure if it's showing me that because I already am in it or if it's always there for you. So guys, if you uh, don't see this option, then that might be the next step to try. Okay, and so now that we have that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump over to the Xbox Series X and set our new background. Okay, and so now that we're here at the home screen, I do wanna let you know there are two different ways that you can get to this menu. And so the first option that you're going to take is just by hitting the customize button that you see at the bottom right hand corner of your home screen. Or if you're not familiar with it, it's going to be the old select button on your new controller here for us old fogies who remember select buttons. So this is the first way that you can do this. You're going to hit the select button and then go over to my color and background. And then from here, you can see that you can go down to your dynamic backgrounds and change it from here. So you do have a few options in here that you can choose from. And what you wanna do is just pick one of those options. Let's go with the ripple effect here. And I'm gonna select this. Now, once you've selected that, you can just simply go back. And so one of the things that you want to do to personalize this for you is then also change the color just like you would um, in the original way or on the Xbox One if you wanted to change the color of your home screen. Just click on my color here. And then in my color, you're going to choose those different colors. So let's go ahead and choose this orange color here and we'll hit okay. And then if you wanna see what that did, you can always go back down to your dynamic backgrounds and you can look at the different options and see which one you think you would like. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, for some reason, it looks like the Spotlight Ultraviolet, the Spotlight Midnight, and the Spotlight Deja Gu isn't necessarily affected by this change. Maybe the Deja Gu is a little bit, um, but the other two don't seem to really have much of an effect. Maybe you just need to let it play out a little bit longer, maybe. So, you know, just kind of keep that in mind. Um, but you can see with the ribbons and also with the ripple effect that it does affect those settings. All right, and so I do wanna show you the other way real quick that you can get into this particular setting. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go back to your home screen. And this time it's a little bit of a longer step, but if for some reason you just don't remember, you know, you're familiar with the old way of doing things, um, if you don't remember where the customize button is for some reason, just click on the settings tab on your, from your home screen, or let's go back to home. So what you wanna do is click your guide button, and then that's gonna bring up your guide menu. Then just go over to your uh, settings, to your profile and systems and then down to settings. Once you're at settings, you'll go make sure you're on the general tab and then you'll go over to personalization and then down to my color and background. And here you'll see you're back to that same screen where you can make those changes to the theme color and the dynamic background settings. All right, guys, and so that was just a real quick video to show you how to change that custom background. Like I said, I did have uh, several viewers kind of ask me, they saw my background in a couple of my other videos and they asked me how I made that change. And so I wanted to give you guys a quick video on how to do that. Again, I'm sorry, unfortunately, it looks like the Xbox One players will not be able to do this, but for you new Xbox Series X players, uh, you will be able to take advantage of these new features. And now, if you like this video, guys, make sure you check out the video that comes up next on the screen and I will see you and the next one. Blow my eyes, camera, action, a show time. Rock it up, rock it up, I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up, she got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up, I got some gas, some packs, I'm up in the greenhouse.